What's going on YouTube? My name is John. Welcome back to another Jumpman Junkie 2 YouTube review. Got a pair of upcoming Jordan 4s we're going to take a look at. And I love this pair. I think Nike or Jordan brand did a great job at these reimagined breads. That's what we're going to dig into. Anyways, they flip flop the box. Usually it's speckled cement print on the bottom. They did black. And on the lid, we got the speckled cement print, which is usually black with a fire red Jumpman. White on the flight. Box condition is great. We'll check out our sticker. Got the Air Jordan 4. Retro. Colorway is black, fire red, cement gray. Size 11. Men's. One good thing about this pair of shoes right here is I do have two of them so far. I'm going to open both boxes. We'll put this one off to the side for now. They're both size 11. This one is from Hess Kick. That's hesskick.ru. Check them out. You can check out the quality on this pair. You can check out um, Kick Max. That's the other box I have. You can check out their pair. I'll keep this on the left, Hess Kick. Check out the kicks. Look at these bad boys. Got the all black Nike Air hang tag. Oh my goodness. I love the leathers on this shoe they are absolutely premium i'd much rather leather than that uh synthetic durabuck that they use on the originals air jordan on the inside of the tongue check it out look at that beautiful tongue patch and the leather on the tongue is super soft these are very accurate one thing i am noticing is the toe box is super round and nice and pointed. I like that a lot on these. Very clean. Get the Nike Air OG on the back tab. The leathers. 100% real leathers all over the upper. Check that outsole. We got sale instead of white. Fire red Nike. Tech gray. Air unit feels super firm. Got gray on the eye stays. I love this pair. Black laces comes custom with the shoe. Uh, tech gray on the sock liner. Check the inside of the shoe. Netting looks really good. Spacing of the netting looks good. Netting, very good. A plus job on these. The wings are nice and firm. Look at the leather on the tongue. It is super soft. Got that new tongue with the lip. Very clean. Paper in the toe. That is 100% accurate. These are beautiful. I think the materials on this shoe go way better when they are a real tumbled leather very nice and i love this black nike air hang tag it's super clean i love these these are a beautiful shoe super soft on the guts i mean very soft this is super high quality padding feels good you got nike air on the insole again the leathers on this pair are absolutely beautiful there's that slim toe box again check that out super pointed I love that. These are shaped beautiful. Nice round back. Very nice back tab. Anyways, let me pull out the other the other box. It did not come like this. I punched this hole on accident in the box. But size 11 as well. You can read the sticker if you'd like. Kickmax.ru for this pair. Very nicely done. Kickmax.ru. Here's all their information. I'll put both informations down in the description. Kickmax, also a great company. Hess Kick as well and Kickmax. Both great companies. Here we go with this pair. Again, they do have the slim toe box. Leathers feel very accurate, very nice. This pair almost feels a little bit softer. You can see the leather on the edge i hit my camera sorry very soft and puffy and thick these might be a little bit softer on the toe but nonetheless a beautiful quality that tongue is absolutely amazing check the leathers on the shoe super soft nike air or air jordan inside of the tongue size 11 sticker nike air on the insole same thing though nike air on the back tab Here's a look from the inside, slim toe box, super soft. This shoe is a little bit softer. It must've been different manufacturers. I like both shoes. The toe box on the Hess Kick pair is a little more slim, if you can see that. 
It's a little more rounded and a little wider on the Kickmax pair. And so I like the toe box better on the Hess kick pair. I do like that toe box, but their leather is a little bit stiffer. It's a little more tightly tumbled, if you would. Also, the spacing right here is a little bigger on the Hess kick pair. When, as you look at the Kick Max pair, it's a bit more tight and smaller in here. I like the netting better on the Kick Max pair. I like the toe box better on the Hess kick pair. Look at that toe box on the Hess kick pair. Super pointed, very accurate. But then again, um, Kick Max, I like their leathers better. And I mean, that toe box does look pretty good. It really doesn't look bad. Here's the outsole. Again, with the paper shoved in the toe, that is accurate. Tongue feels a bit softer. I think the leathers all around feel a little bit softer. Netting, I like better on the Kick Max pair. It is very nicely done check that leather super soft like incredible open edge cuts everywhere very nicely done i'm seeing a sparkle you probably can't see that on camera i'm seeing kind of a little bit of a sparkle on the plastic i wonder if the hess kick pair has that yeah a little bit of a sparkle you probably can't see it but it's there let's pull this one out take a look again with the very very soft I mean, look at that leather up close, very nicely done. Tongue patch on the KickMax.ru pair is very good as well. Both pairs are very nice. Here is the KickMax pair, very soft on the leathers, and you can see that it's just fraying apart on the open cut edges. But again, here's the netting on the KickMax pair. Here's the netting on the Hess Kick pair, and you can see it's just a little wider in this section by the tongue by the toe box on the tongue. Both pairs are very accurate. They're both very nice. I couldn't pick one for the life of me. So if you like the Kick Max pair better, go with the Kick Max pair. It's a little softer on the leather and you can see it is fraying apart. Very, very soft on the materials. And as far as the Hess Kick pair, again, all real premium soft materials. Look at that leather on the tongue. This would be the Hess Kick pair. Toe box shape is super pointed and round. A little bit stiffer on the leather, but that's exactly how Nike's gonna do it. Each one is gonna be just a little bit different. Just a tad bit different. Shaping looks really good. Look at those back tabs, very accurate, super clean. Very nicely done. Again, Kick Max, Hess Kick, both make a great shoe, super high quality. I do believe these came from different companies, um, factories anyways. I know they're different companies, Hess Kick and Kick Max, but different factories probably made the shoes because you can see the edge might not be as fraying on the Hess Kick pair as on the Kick Max pair. It is just kind of fraying apart, which I like that. I mean, it, it is super soft very soft very accurate very nice anyways here we go we have the kick max pair right here very accurate very clean black shoelaces they do look correct in length tongues look really accurate netting both pairs look great if you ask me super soft and very very premium these feel great i like this way better than the original bread four that's just my opinion probably most people are going to say they like the og better but the reimagines is one shoe that i really like better uh the way it is reimagined super soft on the materials look at that leather smells beautiful get that nike on the outsole very clean very nice. Anyways, my name is John. I hope you guys enjoyed this Jumpman Junkie YouTube review. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. I do upload videos every single day. I'm out.